So here's a brief uh, video response to a comment on my review. I mentioned how I just installed the classic shell into Windows 8 and oh yes, my gosh, it's so much easier to navigate on the desktop environment using the classic shell than it ever was using Metro. Uh, now I don't have to type crap, I can just tap it. And somebody said I stopped reading right at, uh, I stopped reading right here. Sorry, credibility or credibility lost. So okay. Let me give you an example of what I meant on the classic menu and how that's a lot easier to use than Metro. So down here I installed the classic menu. Okay. So let's say we go to the control panel the Metro way. Take the finger, slide, settings, control panel. Okay. If we use the classic start menu option, boom. Boom. <laughs> so this, oops, to that, to that. Oh, come on. I'm standing up, kind of bending over it, doing it that way. Or just click Start, Control Panel. I mean, they're already having us click on icons as it is, so why not? I mean, if they're going to bring us back to the Windows desktop, might as well have a start button, I guess. So here's another one. Let's say I want to open up Windows Live uh, Photo Gallery. So let's go ahead and open Metro over here, or the tiles. And I know it's here somewhere. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Windows Live Photo Gallery. Okay. Or we can just do start. Oops. Start Programs, Windows Photo Gallery. And, I mean, I'm a little off-center here hitting it because I'm standing bending over it, but if it's on my lap, I think it makes a lot of sense, actually. Or, like a lot of people say, you click Start, then Swipe, then Search, then Type. Okay? So you got to swipe, Start, swipe, tap, type. Okay. Or just tap programs uh, like Thunderbird. Or not Thunderbird, but uh, Mozilla Firefox. On a Metro only tablet, like on an ARM, well, no. Start menu is not going to work because you're in a Metro only environment. If, though, you're on an x86 tablet, on a desktop environment where they're already having you click X's in the top of boxes and it's the entire Windows UI, then the start button actually looks pretty dang usable on a tablet. Anyway, that was my video response. Enjoy.